So we have created this physical model, but this is just a model. It's not a database. In this lecture, I'm going to show you how to convert this model to a real physical database. So with the physical model open on the top, let's go to the database menu and select forward engineer. In this dialog box, we have to select our connection. By default, you should have the connection that you have on MySQL Workbench homepage. If not, you can select it from here. Leave all the default settings as they are. You may have to enter your password in case it's not stored here. Again, that's pretty straightforward. Now let's continue to the next step. On this page, we can set the options for the script that this wizard is going to generate. Most of the time, you want to leave these settings as they are unless you know what you're doing. So let's go to the next step. Now here we can select the kind of objects that we want to be scripted. So far, we have only created tables in our physical model, but we can also create views, stored routines, like stored procedures and functions, as well as triggers and user objects. For now, we don't have to worry about these other objects. Also, here we can select Show Filter to exclude one or more tables from being scripted. By default, all tables are selected but we can exclude one or more of these tables by selecting them here and moving them to the list of excluded objects. I'm gonna take this back to the list of objects to process. Let's continue to the next step. So this is the script that this wizard has generated for creating our database, our school database with all its tables. For example, on line 14, we have this create schema statement for creating a database called school. Below that, we have a create table statement for creating the student's table. And here are all the columns in this table. For now, don't worry about the details of these statements. You're going to learn about them later in this section. Now, here we also have two buttons below this script. One is save to file. So you can save this as a script file and check it into your source control repository. You can also copy it to clipboard and then go back to MySQL Workbench and paste it into a query window. In this demo, I'm going to click on the continue button so this wizard will generate this database for us. Continue. All right, now it's ready. So back to our local instance. Here I'm going to refresh the navigator panel. There you go. We have the school database. And here are all the tables that we designed earlier in this section.